Hello, hello. I was fixing this lighting really quick. Had it all set up, but we had to move the desk. Is that okay for you? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. All right, so Ashley and Xavier here. We are going to do um, face masks today. So I am with Limelight, as most of you already know. So um, if you are just hopping on, make sure you say hello so we can see you guys. And you'll know if you are watching live, because it will be a live right at the top. So if you're watching the replay, please hashtag number two or replay, number two, replay. And uh, we'll just get started. So today, um, Xavier shaved his face. Yeah. Baby face. He never does. I miss my beard. It's cold. Hands are cold. <laughs> they are cold. I'm, I'm drinking my iced tea. <laughs> so we're going to over a few things. Um, we're going to do some face masks, uh, questions and answers. So anybody who has any questions um, about limelight or just anything in general, I guess, uh, go ahead, shoot them up and ask us some questions, throw them up, and uh, we're going to get started. So since Xavier just uh, shaved his face, I'm going to get him to put a little musty on. Normally we'd probably not do this when we're about to do face masks because um, obviously you want this to you know hydrate your skin. But I just want to see what it feels like on him because he literally just shaved his face. You guys can probably see I posted the video. So our must-do is um, it's a serum. It's going to be kind of like an extra moisturizer you can use it as. So I use it as an extra moisturizer, and I also use it as like a primer on my face for my foundation. Um, the must-do has palm rose and sunflower seed oil in it. Just one, one little squirt in your hand and put it on your face. All right. While I'm doing this, you can explain to everyone why I was unable to shave for so long. Oh, you guys want to hear this story? <laughs> so, every time Xavier goes boxing and he comes home, he leaves a big old pile of stinky clothes in the laundry room. Yeah, that's true. So, um, anyway, Xavier's got this little bag that's like, probably actually about like this big, maybe it's that, and it's full of all his um, like shavers and things like that. And <laughs> I didn't realize that I had thrown it on the ground, like the bit. Oh, Sharon Lewis is on. Hey, Sharon. Hi, oh, Sharon. We miss you. We can't wait to come to Chicago and see you. Definitely. So, you guys, Sharon Lewis, I just want to let you guys all know, she's like my all-time favorite blues artist. She is incredible and amazing. Um, if you get a chance, please YouTube her. She sings some absolutely incredible songs. And if you get the chance to go to Chicago, look her up. I have seen her live twice now. Every time I go to Chicago, I hit her up and ask when she's playing because she's pretty much the only person I want to go listen to sing because she's so incredible. And she's also, like, a hero of mine. I won't go into her personal story. That's her story to tell. But she's an incredible woman. So, um, anyways, I threw Xavier's little bag full of how many things were in there? <coughs> yes, Sharon Lewis. I had three tremors uh, and their electrical plug-ins and all the different attachments for my tremors. And she put them through the washer because, twice because the clothes were left in too long and then had to re be rewashed. Yeah, we got these stackable dry wash machines and I, it was locked because it's stackable, right? I couldn't get it open. So, <laughs> Xavier's um, tremors. Yes, please follow her, you guys. Please follow Sharon Lewis. She's amazing. Also, um, if you guys are just logging on out, please hit a share. I uh, want everyone to sh share this video so that everyone can see how great our products are, how amazing they are. Um, we'll see how many shares we can get up to tonight. That'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I washed this stuff twice. And put it through the dryer. No, I didn't go through the dryer. Did it? Yes. <laughs> He's lucky. Yeah, he loves me. She'll be at the Blues Festival in June. You know what? Xavier will be playing football in June, but maybe I'll come. <laughs> How's that feel on your face? But, oh, first of all, that's why um, he couldn't shave his face for so long. We were really, we were really worried. Thanks, Aaron, for sharing. <laughs> yeah, uh, so we were quite worried about um, his tremors and didn't think they were going to work. Yeah, but apparently Philips makes a very durable product yeah. and they still work. Did you guys see the, the huge bush beard he had going on? I was like, up to here. It wasn't that bad. Not as bad as, like, four years If you ago. look up, like, interviews with Xavier, like, okay. Xavier Fulton, especially when he was with the Riders, his beard was, like, the biggest thing I've ever seen. Thank you, Miranda. Thanks for sharing, guys. Yeah, look, I looked 
extremely homeless. I, yeah, <laughs> that looked like it wasn't by choice that my beard was that big. That's funny. So, what do you think of the must-do? How's it feel? Because it's it's the must-do is a serum, like I was saying. Um, it can be used. Thank you, Darren. It can be used as um, an extra hydrator. It can be used as a beard oil, and it also can be used for aftershave. Um, what do you want? Erin <laughs> said she was a pro at the handlebars. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's that feel? Oh, Erin, it's dirty. Feels <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. I think she's not being saying that. You're the one. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Move on. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah, how does the must-do feel? Feels nice. Zoe! Dude. So. Every video. Zoe just needs to be in all the videos, you know. Last time she escaped, this time she's going to be on daddy's lap and run away. So, I'm going to wash my face. This is our um, makeup wipes. They are incredible. So, I'm probably not going to wash my eyes off too much. I'm not sure what our plans are tonight. So, I'll just wash this off. But. But we're not going anywhere. Okay, I'll wash my eyes off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, what, 9.45? I don't even know. All I want is chocolate. That's just, too, that's just a layup. But, um... Yeah, Xavier and I keep saying we're going to have, like, movie night where we watch, like, um, like, old movies like Pet Cemetery. Any of you guys remember the name of the cat from Pet Cemetery? I almost wanted to name my cat that because she's gray. Let's see if anyone knows. The skill testing question. Terrifying cat. Erin, my sister Erin, I know you know what it is. This is my first time using one of these wipes. This is incredible, guys. Look it. That's all my makeup. You saw how much eyeshadow I had on? And it's still... You didn't have that much on, but... I had a fair amount. Right. Oh my gosh, these are so nice. Okay, so. I don't see anyone knowing the cat. Zubaz! What's up, Zubaz? 9.58, yeah. We're old. That's way too late for us to go out. Yeah, all I can think about for the last hour is, like, I want to go to bed. Xavier stays up all night. Well, I fall asleep for, like, three hours, and then I have a nightmare, and I wake up, and I can't fall back to sleep. Yeah, I wake up almost every night, and he's downstairs. Uh, well, yeah, at, like, four in the morning, I'm, like, stewing. Never watched it. Pet Cemetery. Oh, my gosh. So the cat's name is Church, after Winston Churchill. <clears throat> Okay, so we are going to do face masks. Sometimes I... dead is better. <laughs> that was the old man. I don't want to go down that way. Bad things happen down that road. They were so good at impressions. I'm doing a terrible job of impersonating that guy. It's better than mine. If I ever tried. Maybe it's not that I'm good at the impressions then. That I'm just terrible? Very... I, I didn't say that. <laughs> Who did you last time when we did a video? I don't know, maybe Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman? No, I didn't do Morgan Freeman. Okay, so we're going to do two face masks. Xavier is going to do the skin polish. That's the one I did last time. And I am going to do the mask of Zen. So do you want me to put this on you or you want to do it yourself? I brought a mirror. Yeah, maybe you do it. It's your video. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm just hanging out. Okay, you know what? I can put this on you then. So our I'm your guest star. Xavier is my guest star. Hasn't he been such a good sport, guys? Mm-hmm. You look how soft your skin looks and feels. It's so nice. Your hands are so cold. Here, warm them up a little bit. Warm them up. They're warm on your face. <laughs> oh my gosh, his hands are so rough. So the next video... <laughs> you really cut me open. Sorry. The next video we're going to do is um, the Bamboo Renew, and I'm going to get the calluses out of his hands. I need those. For what? Oh. You don't want to be lifting weights with soft, manicured hands. I want you to get some nice gloves or something. Oh, my God. How? how? You don't know me at all. Jesus. I know. I know I'm bugging you. Hold hands. Warm this hand up, then. This hand's nice let's and just, warm. Let's just power this. Let's okay. just get it on there. So, skin polish. Skin polish is amazing. Oh, so, see, Elsa ordered, ordered her husband the men's skincare line. I, okay, and you ratted him out and said that he asked you to order it for him. <laughs> is that what she said? <laughs> did, did he ask for sure? You asked too, Xavier. Okay, I didn't ask, I implied. There's a difference. Actually, if there is any of the Alouettes watching, I would love to have you guys um, try the skincare product. So Xavier's going to be bringing it on the road with him. We're going to put some in your guys' lockers. You 
You're just trying to get me beat up. But never mind, I guess it's 2018. You're a vet. You can do whatever you want. Almost. Okay. Zoe, I'm going to beat you to the butt. Get out of here. <laughs> Almost within reason. That's me, yeah. See? Can you guys see her back there? Zoe. Do we uh, cheering for Xavier this year, Tristan? Good. I already see that Brownie got some uh, Montreal Alouette uh, leggings. Alright, so you remember how to do this, right? When you're going to put it in a circle and do the circular motion. So, um, yeah, you go ahead now. I want me to do it for you. Well, I mean, since you're already there. Just... <laughs> okay. I'm here for the five-star treatment. Okay. So, um, the skin polish has jojoba beads in it. What jojoba beads are, they come from a jojoba bush. And um, so they're kind of like your micro beads. They're little beads, but they're biodegradable and they're natural. What these are going to do is they're going to exfoliate your skin. So as I'm doing this to Xavier right now, they're actually um, breaking underneath my fingers and on his skin and breaking down. The big difference between these and micro beads is when I'm doing this to his face, um, they're breaking down. So they're not like the micro beads where micro beads are actually going to put little micro tears onto your skin. What micro tears are going to do are going to cause wrinkles. They're actually giving tears in the first layer of your skin. So, very bad for you. Um, what else is in here is... What's that? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Why don't you read some of this stuff? I actually put some notes out here for Xavier so he could read. Well, I, well, I, I don't have to read stuff right now. I, mean, I could just talk about how bad micro beads are. Well, you've heard me talk about them a few times. Do you, have any, do you remember any other points I said about them? Well, I read stuff too. And, uh, yeah, those plastic beads, like in the shampoo or, um, just regular even body soap has micro beads in it too. And since those don't break down, uh, by the time they make it up to the ocean, the fish see them as little food particles. They you eat those. Oh, yeah, I know I have a deep, deep baritone voice. Um, but yeah, since those don't break down, fish think they're food, and you actually get uh, fish that are starved to death, that are, uh, and they're starved to death because their stomachs are completely full with these microbeads. And then what happens is you eat the fish, and guess those microbeads go. Well, you don't directly ingest the, you don't, eat, no one's eating fish stomachs. Well, unless you're eating like uh, muzzles, or you're eating um, bottom yeah. feeders like that. Yeah, you're going to eat, basically you're going to be eating sick and, you know, injured fish. Or yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Seafood. So, Xavier, tell them some more stuff here. There's a few things in here. Um, I wrote down some of the mo most important ingredients. Sharon wants a jersey. We promised her a jersey last year. <laughs> so, we uh, need to get her a jersey this year. A jersey. So, um, I'm going to start putting on the clay mask, and while I'm doing that, Xavier's going to read to you guys what are some of the benefits of um, the skin polish. I'm just going to say some, a few things before he gets started. The skin polish is really going to be for um, all all types of skin, so anywhere from dry or um, especially people who have mature skin. It's going to be really, yeah, Laura, he's looking real pretty, huh? <laughs> um, it's going to be really good for people with uh, mature skin. I'm getting up there, so actually the skin polish is my favorite, but um, I've been starting to break out this month, so I am going to be using one of my samples it looks of like Someone whipped cream the inside of uh, Magneto's helmet, and I put it on. I literally am married to the biggest nerd. Okay. Go ahead, baby. No, his name is Mark Zuckerberg. That dude's rich. Do you want to put this on my face, or do you want to read, read that? Uh, okay. Uh, which one's which? They're all the same. This is all, this is all um, the skin polish. This is about the hoba beads, that's a cold pressed lemon, squalene, so. Hmm. Yes. Well, I guess I'll go on about cold pressed lemon peel, which is apparently lemon peel that has been removed from the flesh of the lemon and then cold pressed. Um, let's see, lemon oil is uh, widely referred to as a powerful remedy to fight Acne spots, the oil is rich of uh, is a rich source of antioxidants, citric acid, and vitamin C properties that help reduce acne causing bacteria and germs. 
Mm -hmm. The essential properties uh, contained in the oil aid the skin to boost the production of collagen and maintain an equal balance between uh, sebum production. As a result, the skin can reduce acne scars. Is that not amazing? That way you don't get the Edward James Olmos face. Mama says you're handsome. Oh, I know. It's magneto lip cream. <laughs> um, oh, lemon oil contains uh, citric acid, as I said before, uh, which is used as a skin-safe uh, hyperpigmentation agent. Uh, the oil has anti-inflammatory and antiseptic properties. Uh, well, it contains anti-inflammatory and antiseptic properties that uh, reproduce uh, damaged melanin cells. So melanin that's going to be really good cells. for people that have, you know, like puffy skin, any redness, anything like that. It's really going to help to fight against that. So again, guys, um, for those of you who are just logging on, we are doing two face masks tonight. Xavier is doing the skin polish from Limelight. I am doing the mask Zen. If you're all watching, please share this video. We're going to see how many shares we can get tonight. So Xavier is just going over the benefits of um, the skin polish. He's having the skin polish. I just uh, went over his face with some, rolled his face with the hoba beads that was helping it exfoliate. So now he's just going to go on to the apricot oil. Apricot oil is an amazing ingredient. And uh, go ahead, honey, say some of the things that it does. Especially this oh. stuff. This is amazing. Uh, well, yeah, the biggest thing that I can take away, or well, that I can see on this, is that <clears throat> well, that it helps the skin retain moisture, uh, eliminates patches of dry skin, uh, and also uh, is good at relieving uh, inflammatory conditions such as rosacea, uh, psoriasis, and eczema. 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 Look, eczema. Okay, y'all, we're going to have... Um a, a poll right now if um, you think it's called whatever he says okay let's just start with the spelling we'll go with the first three letters no 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 E C I'll even go Canadian on it E C Z I just feel like a little bit of me died inside because I pronounced it Z but you married a e Canadian C Z it's not ex what are you calling it eczema eczema it's eczema Oh, thanks for the share, guys. All right, so if you say whatever he says, eczema, put an X up. If you say eczema, put an A up. We're having a competition here. Why are you putting an A? Oh, you're not. I, <laughs> I, just, I didn't get enough to eat today, I think. I There's know. actually another thing that um, we had a competition over, and it was grilled cheese sandwiches. What's wrong with grilled cheese sandwiches? Oh, see, Emery says it's with an A. You guys are crazy. Maybe it's a Saskatchewan Dude, thing. Hey, oh yeah. Although, um... Where are the Americans? <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. I think people in Ontario and people in Saskatchewan, like, from the East and the West, say things differently as well. Because Americans and people from out here say spaghetti... Puh. Spaghetti what? Pasta. I say pasta, and so does everyone from Saskatchewan. Uh, pasta. 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 I feel like I'm prim and proper. If I can shove you off this stool, I would right now. Like you just get, you just... Because you're, you're the pasta man. God, brain so small. <laughs> Look, it... Uh, if anything, it's weird because it's an East Coast pronunciation. And you guys are Midwest, landlocked. Okay, let's do it again, guys. If you say pasta, put down an X. If you say pasta... Put up an A. This is just, it just sounds like you're just, you're dragging that A out for no reason. Pasta. Yeah. Pasta. Pasta. Yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm going to yeah. cook. Do you want some pasta tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what you, that's what oh, I'm doing. Oh, here we go. Yeah. We got some A's over here, so some pasta. There's one X, that's all that matters. That's Aaron, nice. where are you from? I think she's from Nova Scotia. I mean, it's, okay, fine. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you. Oh, your mother. Woo! All right. Your I mom's on her. That's okay. Side. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's an American thing. Oh, what is that over there on top of that box? What are you talking about? The black thing. Oh, bag. Oh, now you're, you know, you're changing it. Because you know what I'm trying to say. Big. Yeah, apparently people from Saskatchewan or Canada in general say bag weird as well. No, it's Saskatchewan. Is it just Saskatchewan? 
Yeah. You All guys, your teammates would make fun of us. You drag out your A's. Mazda. Ashley. I didn't know how to say my, my name Ashley. is Ashley. Ashley. I didn't say that. Yes, hey, know. I'm Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> it's not Ashley. Yeah. Okay, so this is what happens when you marry an American. Um... We do this all the time. We fight back and forth, or argue, bicker back and forth of who's right, which is usually me. But. <laughs> you can't even say it with a straight face because you know it's not true. <laughs> You're looking at me. And I got this Magneto with cream on the face. Oh, that just sounds bad too. <laughs> the Magneto helmet. No, that's that's still bad. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. So how long do I leave this on for? 15 minutes. Okay, fine, fine. Or you leave it on for longer too. So, we just went over um, the cold pressed lemon peel, right? Is that what? No, we went over. Yeah. I didn't even get to finish the apricot oil. <laughs> okay, we'll just go around this area and talk about it again. Yeah. Whoever's logging on right now, guys, please give us a share and hit number one if you're logging on, and if it's a replay, number two. Go ahead. Fine. Good lord. <laughs> All right. Uh, another good feature about uh, apricot oil is that. Uh, it contains high doses of vitamin E, and that uh, boosts the skin's ability to retain elasticity and clarity. Uh, uh, let's see, it's an antioxidant, uh, combats free radical damage and inflammation. Free radicals are those things that cause what? Go ahead, you're, you're, this is yours. Oh, well, this is like a bad, I don't know. Free radicals are what uh, cause cancer. Um, That's not good. The, uh, the oil's unsaturated fatty acids also enhance elasticity by making cell membranes more flexible. Uh, it also works as an anti-aging agent. Um, uh, let's see, the oil's uh, antioxidant vitamin C provides collagen production, which gives skin extra extra stability and suppleness. But so again, this is really... Sorry, go ahead, babe. Oh, that's the funny word, suppleness. Suppleness? Yeah. Suppleness. I don't know, I just... <laughs> this is a weird word. Extra stability and suppleness. Suppleness. Yeah. But vitamin C, alongside vitamin E, also mask aging marks by reducing fine lines and wrinkles. Similarly, similarly, vitamin A in apricot kernel oil repairs UV-related damaged skin and smooth skin to reduce wrinkles, fine lines, <clears throat> and rough skin. Yes. So again, this. This um, is CNN. This is CNN. See, I can't do accents like him. What? Like, I bet you if anyone says throw up an accent on here, it's it James Earl Jones. You said CNN, though. Yeah, he used to, he was a newscaster for CNN. I did not know that. This is CNN, Luke. I am your father. Anyone tells him to do an accent, he'll be able to do it. Throw it on up there, let's see. No, I can't do that. You're so good at it. I'm not. Alright, so, the mask, and oh, then this one also has um, aloe vera in it. We use freeze-dried aloe vera in all of our products, so freeze-dried aloe vera is going to be the most potent um, aloe vera that you can get. They actually use it on burn victims, so that just goes to show um, just how really great it is and the quality of the products that we're putting into, um, or the quality of ingredients that we're putting into our products. So that's the skin polish. Um, this is the one that Xavier is wearing. I am wearing the Mask of Zen. So this is just um, one of the samples that we got. So the mask of Zen is a really great little mask. It's going to help people with, um, especially with anyone who has acne problems and pimples and things like that. So um, what's in the mask of Zen? It's going to be clay from Montana. So that's, let's see if it's starting to harden a little bit. You can see that. And then it has cinnamon bark extract. This ingredient is a mild astringent that helps regulate bacteria without throwing off the skin cell balance. Um, it also has tea tree oil in it. It's really cool. Um, I had a few pimples the other night, and I just did it as like a spot treatment. So I put it over top of them. And you know when you put tea tree oil on a pimple, you can feel... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. As I'm saying this, Erin's saying um, she likes the way... Oh, she loves the smell of the mask. Is in. Sorry, I thought she said the way it feels. But um, you know when you put that tea tree oil on, you can actually feel it. It was amazing. I put it on my pimples, and I felt like it was actually working. And I woke up the next day. And they were like drastically reduced. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, um, yeah, see, so this is gonna have um, the cinnamon bark extract, and it's also gonna have tea tree, oil, tea tree oil in it. And everyone knows that tea tree oil is used to combat acne and um, inflammation. Then, another thing that it also has in it is carrot seed oil. 
Carrot seed oil is really rich in vitamin A and that's going to help to improve the health of the skin cells. So um, the mask is in, that can be used. When you first buy it, you're going to want to use it maybe once a week just so that your skin gets used to it. And then after that, you can start using it a little bit more frequently. So, um, hey Cindy. Cindy, that's Chad's mom. Hi. How's it going? So yeah, so... Are we out of salmon? Pardon? I feel like we're out of salmon and sticks. Why do you want to... Oh, I know one thing we're going to do really quick. Xavier, keep people entertained. This is what I forgot. Yep. I'm going to read from one of my books that I got as a present. It was called Beerlicious. It's recipes and stuff. But I haven't gotten to try them because I don't like to buy beer. I just don't like beer, period. But there are a ton of recipes in here that look crazy that I really, really want to try. Where's that one? What are you doing? Talking about food? Yeah. Of course. Oh, shoot. Can you help me, please? <laughs> Lift your leg. Tripped over the cord, guys. Oh, yeah. Elma, speaking of samples, I just got more in, so I can send you some. Like this is one, for example. I didn't have enough to send you some. I only had a few left, and I wanted to send you a good amount, so I ordered a bunch. Oh, Emery! Hey! That was like my, Emery was like my brother growing up. How's it going? Okay, so um, here's a nice little trick that is super cool. Uh, like I was talking to you guys earlier in the video about the must-do, this is going to be a serum that's going to really help hydrate your skin and make it feel amazing. So one thing that you can, can you put that down, please. Oh. One thing that you can do with this is um, this is Bigfoot represents You're no, not making Bigfoot. Bigfoot. I can't make pig feet. Elma. Mom is on my side. <laughs> Your mother and I talked about this last time we had our video chat, actually. About how uh, awesome pig feet are. Just about some of the interesting foods that you like. I don't like I'll try this part of it. Yes, you will. But your mother did say that there's some she wouldn't eat. Like what? I can't remember. We're not going to get into that right now. <laughs> Is it chitlins? No, she did say she had chitlins. Yeah, I've watched my mom make chitlins. And... That partly scarred me when I was a child, when I was walking into the kitchen and Why don't you tell people what chitlins are first? Because people probably don't know what chitlins are. Okay. Well, I guess there's a certain demographic that may or may not know. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> let's just be honest here. Anyway, <laughs> they are pig intestines, or pork intestines, if you may. And if prepared properly, they are delicious. Yes. Um, like four scum. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> so, um... But then I just walked in. She had a pile of just... Your mother said she's never eaten pig's feet, Xavier. Oh. Alright. Alright. That was Granddaddy. Granddaddy had, uh... Me and Granddaddy ate, we were... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Granddaddy made... Granddaddy... Yeah. Granddaddy used to make pig's feet and he actually used to share them with me. So, I'm just saying. I've had them. They're good. <laughs> So, moving on from the pig's feet. <laughs> Mom, you did make chitlins. I remember, I, I think it was like three or four, I walked into the kitchen and there a pile of guts next to the sink. Do you stuff the intestines with something? Robin Mitchell wants to know. Nope, you don't stuff them. Well, I mean, you could stuff them. I guess that's, that's, that's how you make sausage. Yes, Miranda. Sausage is made of uh, yeah, the intestines. Yeah, intestines. Interesting, use interesting. casing, yeah. Hey, Amanda. So, what I'm trying to say here is the must-do can also be used in another way. This can be used as a lip mask. So, I've never done this before. I just heard about this. Um, so, we're going to try this out. Anyone who's just logging on, I have a um, clay face mask on. That's why my skin looks the way it does. And Xavier has a skin polish. So, um, I have a little brown sugar right here. Tap it. There you go. And we're going to put it in with the must-do. So, are you laughing at your mother? Yes. Uh, yeah, she... Oops, shoot. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here, let me just put it on you. Okay, so this is um interesting, guys. I just dumped all the sugar out of the spoon. I'm just gonna wipe this off on here. So we're just gonna put it in here, and then we're gonna put the must do in here. That's probably gonna work out better. Yeah. 
Zoe, sugar. Okay. Put what? some of this on your lips. What? Uh, Do it. Uh, I love you. Yeah, I know. I love you too. I'm, I'm okay. Come on. Soft lips are good. <sighs> Fine, only because you said that. So yeah, you just put it on and it actually feels really nice. As I'm doing this, I think it's only fair to mention. So you just rub it around because it's obviously brown sugar um, is edible. <laughs> and um, just roll it around and get rid of any dead skin. Go like this. Okay. I just want to see what it looked like. So yeah, I've been doing really well in boxing. Okay. I just felt like this is the best time to bring that up. <laughs> yeah, Saber's been um, doing a lot of boxing this off-season to um, train. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Very cool. We actually went and watched some Muay Thai. Mmm, um, that tastes good. And so two fights? We did. Xavier actually boxes or fights this girl named Rachel, and I still have yet to meet her, but she is a beast. Last fight we went to, there was we were late, of course, and um, we were like we walked in midway through the first fight. But the fights we were on Xavier nine time. Nine minutes long. Okay. There are three rounds. Well, I guess they're. I like to be early for things. Technically, they're 12, no, they're 11 minutes long. Zubaz, boxing is the best workout. Xavier tried to take me once, and I think I almost died. I didn't even take you. I put you through the paces myself, and I was going very easy on you. I am strong. Yeah, you're like freakish farm girl strong. <laughs> I am from Saskatchewan. So, um, yeah, see, we, anyways, Rachel, back to Rachel, she's an insane fighter. We went to this fight and we were late and, um, it was her fight and so I couldn't see because we were standing, there was only standing room. Her fight was an hour and a half later. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Ooh, me look see, Miranda, anyone knows X has his own time. Everybody knows you have your own time. So anyways, I uh, was trying to watch her fight and there was a bunch of people so I was like, okay, where's an opening? Literally looked down, walked over, and looked up, and it was done. She KO'd the chick. So, yeah, she's she's a beast. <clears throat> but anyways, her, her her fight name is is KG Beast. Oh really? Yeah. What's KG mean? Uh, actually, why have I not known this? But it's from the KGB, the Kremlin. I don't know. She's Russian. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right, so we told you guys enough. Go ahead. Side note, KG Beast is also the name of a supervillain from the DC Comics. Apparently, Batman killed KG Beast. Ooh, this stuff, is, this stuff feels actually nice. Like it's not, not too hard. You know, when you put face masks on and it's like super, like pulls your face back? Nope, I don't know that at all. It's for the KGB. Well, yeah, I know that, but... What does the K and the G stand for in KGB? That is the question. Without looking up it, but I assume there's something. Kremlin Glug Glug Glu Bureau? <laughs> I don't know. So while we're having some um, someone figure out what KBG or whatever that's called, KBG? <laughs> this is like Russian Secret Service. <laughs> okay. KBG is like Russian Secret Service. I think you're saying, ugh, like, come on, guys, it's common sense. No, no, it's, uh, uh. No, it was a spelling error. Oh. <laughs> so funny. So, yes, moving forward, does anybody have any questions at all? Any questions from anything we talked about or. Not related to the Kremlin or the former service. Could be related to anything. Who cares? We're around here. Didn't they recently rename the KG, KGB? It's something oh, else. Oh, that feels so nice. Oh my gosh. This is still wet, you guys. This makeup white. So Russia did like a rebranding of KGB to such a bad name. Poison people. I don't know what any of the stuff that you guys are talking about. They I am. Um, poison the guy? The K. Uh, here. I don't have my glasses on. You have to read that. Read that. Oh, there's another for it. Oh. Read it. Comment that. 
Kosutar Stavro Noe Bezoposnosti. Translating English means for committee for uh, yeah committee committee for state security. All right, cool. Oh, look at that! You got some more. You can read there later. So yes, thank you guys um, for tuning in to our face mask tutorial today. Um, you guys can check out my website at www.limelightbyalcone.com backslash Ashley Fulton. You can visit my Facebook page of Splash of Ash Limelight, and I'm always here to answer any questions. So. We're going to leave this open for a little bit, see if you guys have any questions um, at all, and let us know. We'll just kind of chill and see if there's anything here, and if not, we'll vlog off. I totally sidetracked this thing, I just realized. <laughs> the video? Um, we talked about a little bit of everything. We did. Common, uh, I guess, regional vernaculars, a little bit of Batman, a little boxing. It was, I'm so confused right Former now. Soviet Union, yeah, Russia. Oh, yeah, my recipe book there, too. Yes. Well, actually, Xavier bought some... A big... Picnic roast. Yeah, thank you. I don't know what it's called. Also known as the Boston butt. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's just picnic roast or Boston butt. I'm trying, Alma. This isn't wet enough. I only had one makeup wipe, so it's... You've had it out for so long. Yeah. And that light is so bright. All right. Well... Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. Um, we will do another video next. If you guys have any any suggestions of some fun videos you guys would like to see us do pertaining to the limelight, please let me know, and we will try and make that happen. Um, very excited. I love these products. It is all natural skin care and professional grade makeup, bunny certified, and um, it's absolutely incredible. I've heard amazing results. I just got... Where did you move that box to? Uh... Maybe, is it that? Right here. Oh, I don't know. So I did just get a ton of samples, guys. Ah. So let me know who wants samples. Ah, Jesus, what are you doing? All right, thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful night. Oh, I can make this one. Pull pork. Actually, yeah, you should do that. That'd be good. Yeah. Okay, say bye to everyone. Bye, everybody. Oh, we miss you too, Tristan. Yeah, I miss you guys.